finally Friday. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but. Well, taking Monday off has made it a very long week. It has been a tough week too. You'd think a four day week would be easier than a normal five day week, but. You'd think, but I'm telling you. It's been rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of had a fun week last week and this week's kind of been a trying to level everything back out four days it's not helped well did y'all have a good memorial day we did we hung around the house so that's the best kind of memorial day in my opinion but yeah we grilled and played golf and well, baseball and baseball all kind of stuff it was good times Yes, uh, we actually, we have our oldest, she had a little bitty four-wheeler she got for her birthday like a long time ago. Well, our little three-year-old found it and, uh -oh. you know, daddy Starting can fix everything. Yeah, so Michael spent his whole Memorial Day trying to fix a little bitty old 50cc four-wheeler. <laughs> so he had it running by the end of the day, so that's, that's all good. that matters. I bet the little man liked that, didn't he? Oh, he flies. Luckily, it has that little screw that can make the throttle go lower. Well, that one in there figured that out, and she would get a screwdriver and back the screw out where she could give it all the gas. All right, then. Well, They're smart. They are. They're smarter than what we give them credit for, that's for sure. Bundle deals. Yes. So that one, we're bundling the blue and the orange. Okay. And honestly, if you wanted to mix up the colors, that's fine. But yeah. right now, we have that put together. It's kind of like your basics. So, you get the roll cart, mm -hmm. the twenty-seven seventy-nine. Yep. A ratchet, extensions. three extensions, and a screwdriver set. Yep. For as low as twenty dollars. Twenty dollars a week. Yep. Which you know that's Maco credit, so. Hmm. Pretty well, nice you roll go. cart. You know it's got the new updated bumpers on them, so. Well, I love the handles on the screwdrivers. They're good. They are. The ratchet's one of my favorites, and that's one of my favorite iron packs. I'm so telling y'all did y'all did a fine job on that bundle there. Well, I mean, we've had it. a lot of interest in it, so. Well, it's nice. And, and twenty bucks a week. Can't beat that. And we've also had people saying, "Well, can we put it put that bundle toward the box?" I mean, if that's what you want instead of a roll cart, you want a box? We can do that too. Yeah. So. I'll just move all the tools right over here in this one, wouldn't you? I'd have to unload it, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with it, so. Well, that's good. It is. So, um, a lot of people are, well, I've, I've read a couple of comments. They have older Matco ratchets, mm -hmm. and they're wanting to know, can you upgrade them to the 88 tooth? I'm like, I have no clue. I you don't know. You know, honestly, I hadn't ever thought about it. I know that... Maco carries a lifetime warranty on their ratchets. Yeah. I know I've had a ratchet. I can't, I don't know where he went, but he was over there and it was an ADV ratchet, you know, just the standard half inch ratchet, not flex, not nothing. And they actually replaced it with the newer Maco ratchet because they can't get that one no more. Right. And the replacement head on it, you couldn't get it. So they just upgraded him to the, the next step up. There you so, go. That may I mean, be your answer then. So, if you need to go from the old school to the new 88s. Yeah, might end up having to just replace the whole ratchet. Yep. Which, I mean, is okay in some people's opinion. So. Yeah. Unless you're emotionally attached to one, which I'm not, but I guess some are. Now, we had one, um, the oxygen sensor wrench up here. Uh, if I can get it down. Yep. So. Apparently, Mako's had this one in a different part number before, and we had a guy who had his for years. He mm -hmm. had like three different Mako distributors, and his finally broke on the head of it, mm -hmm. and they just replaced it with the brand new one. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it kind of goes Hopefully with other stuff. Hopefully, sentimental on that. Huh? Well, he said he would like to keep it, but he also didn't want to pay for a new one. So. Yeah. Oh, I'd let it go. Yeah, it well, he did. Its, it's done its due diligence, you know. He said, well, if something happens and they're not going to, you know, they're just going to scrap it, they can just send it back. And I'm like, well, I don't know if they'll honestly do that or not. So yeah. That's it true. happens. Well, <laughs> still no word on the bump boxes when they're going to come yet. in? Not yet. So we're hoping that we get the shipment in. 
So you'll be having yours before long. All right, just have to wait on them. Y'all got what? a bunch of string lights up here. We are. We're actually having a meeting this Saturday, or I guess it's made tomorrow. So we're hoping to refill. I think it's called refuel your business. So we're hoping to buy up a lot. Spend that money is what they want you to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like anyways. That's it. Well, cool, cool, cool. Y'all ain't got anything new that we ain't seen? Um, I don't think so yet, but I believe there's something next week. So we well, might be able to show you something interesting next week. That's good. Keep you waiting. Well, that's good. We like the new stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with new stuff. Mm -mm. It's hard to find something you ain't got. You got as many tools as I do. I'm hard. telling you, we have a lot of mechanics that have been in it for a while so yeah. they're more of the well what can you help me with now you know mm -hmm. which i mean vehicles and stuff like that they're constantly changing so i mean they have to have yeah, new stuff it's always something new and like i remember when i was a kid they come out with the metric stuff here in the u.s and my dad was so pissed off because he had to go buy metric sockets and metric wrenches you know and mm -hmm. It's a good thing he don't work on stuff now because he'd sure enough be pissed off with all the specialty bits and the sockets and the torques and the I'm telling you. freaking holders you gotta have for stuff. Well, yeah, it's, He would lose his mind. It's now. interesting that they actually, like engineers, you would think that, hey, let's go out here and see how convenient this actually is. Because mm -hmm. I know whenever Michael works on something at the house and he's gotta take it completely apart to get to one little bolt or yeah, something like that, care. it's just, it's ridiculous, honestly. They don't care at all. <laughs> Those engineers could care less. Oh, I think that's why there's so many people that's getting away from automotive work because it's such a pain in the butt to do anything, you know. To, it is. Like, I can't say that I blame anybody for not, not wanting for to work on something all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's interesting anyways, because I mean, you have different schools who, yeah. and you can tell what school somebody comes out of, because I mean, we run close to Tennessee, and I know mm -hmm. they have a mechanic school up there, and we, of course, we're here in Boonville, so we have Northeast that has their diesel, their right. auto mechanics, and everything like that. It's, it's interesting to see how different, you know, that they come out, mm -hmm. and I mean, I guess the best way to learn is whenever you get your degree, <laughs> whenever you actually start working somewhere, you know. Yeah. So. Well, I got a buddy of mine that started working on boats back in the early 90s. Like he went to the Mariner School and I think Mariner Mercury, same thing. Yeah. Anyway, whatever the two, two are that's the same, that's what he worked on. And he had his own little boat shop and all this. And everything got harder and harder and harder and more confined spaces that you mm -hmm. had to work on, you know. and. I think it was like four years ago, he finally just gave it up. He uh -oh. said, I'm through. I'm tired of all the junk that's on there. I'm tired of all the wiring. I'm tired of all the problems with electrical systems. He said, I miss the good old days when it was a carburetor and linkage cables, and that's it. Yep, you know? now it's all technical and... He said, when you gotta have a damn computer to work on a boat motor, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the way he was, you know? So, I know. Uh, well. All right. Well, guys, I got to talk to them. I've lost my knife, so I need a new knife. Uh-oh. I know where it's at, but I ain't found it. So, Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over our merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.